got the rest of it apart here now um, basically there's the main input drive gear and the driven gear here had two bushings on the driven gear shaft and the driven gear then just fits over top of them down on there um, when this is spinning it turns so that the oil goes around the outside suction tubes down here oil goes around the outside of the gears gets squished into the little cavities that are in between the gears there one on each side and of course here's the housing so they get squished up there on the top of the gear come around through this channel over to the check valves when you <coughs> pull the lever and raise this pin here it lifts or actually I guess it'll push it down when you pull the lever it'll push that pin down close that slide right in there as you can see there's a port over there somewhere yeah, now you can see it and as you pull the lever it lifts this moves this pin lifts that tube up which may, forces all the oil up against the relief valve and since it can't go out the relief valve right away it comes across goes down through the check valves and out to your ports this port here is fed by the lower check valve there the upper check valve comes across and feeds this port which goes back into the case and then across the case to the two other outlets that are in the case um, check valves pushed up against up against these holes the oil's coming through here and pushing the check valves down getting through there into these ports and goes out to the cylinders when you stop lifting you open this tube up back here again lets the rest of the pump flow go back into the sump check valves close lock the oil in the cylinders so if you're leaking down after you shut your lever off it'd be these check valves that are leaking um, and they will hold that oil in the cylinder until you go to lower it with the lever which will force these pins out against the check valve balls which were sitting in here and would be on the underside of here so the buttons will come down here against the ball and push the ball down away and let all that oil back through this hole back up into this area here and out the main port which is dumping back the tank so that's basically how the system works and like I said if you're leaking while your lever is supposed to just be holding oil in the cylinder it's these check valves check balls would be the place to check if you can't get it to go back down again probably these pins are broken um, if you can't get it to stay up period maybe the springs broken here and the check balls not coming back up against the seat at all um, and if you can't get it to raise well then you get your typical pump problems either gears and clearance and and or this sleeve here is got something wrong with it or the check or the relief valves got something wrong with it you gotta check all those typical symptoms so now it's time to clean everything up <clears throat>